It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Seattle Seahawks, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. From the picturesque Pacific Northwest and the city of Seattle, welcome inside Lumen Field, where all the 12s make it at home for the Seahawks. Good to be with you. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we've been around for a minute, as the kids like to say, I call your games for guys who you played with back in your day, who are now the veteran players in the league. And we got a couple of veterans here at quarterback. What a difference it makes for a team when they come in with a guy who knows what he's doing back at quarterback. Oh, and it really does. And remember, Mike, the only way to gain experience is to gain experience. There's no magic formula. you got to be in the fire, make mistakes, make great plays, learning lessons. The more you see, the better you get. And no position is that more magnified than in the NFL at the quarterback position. So the fact that these guys have played so many games, so many seasons, they've seen so much, that's a huge advantage for each of these teams. Now the question is, in today's matchup, who comes out on top? And it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive. The Seahawks come on, and that means it's Geno Smith. What a story he's been. Real turnaround here in his 12th year now in the NFL. Came out to Seattle, back up Russell Wilson the last three years. Greg, he has been the starter, and he runs this Seattle offense now. If he's going to lead his team to a win, he has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start once again it's Walker He'll bring this 2-40. to 40. That's good enough to move those chains. It's a first down. Off the play fake. Smith. They put the tight end, Brown, in motion. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. They'll come up here first and 10. Working out of the gun, Smith. That's caught. It's Kenneth Walker. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. From the gun, it's Gina. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. 
The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. From the gun on third down, Smith. He'll try to run for it. And that ball loosely, and it is out. The Rams have it. One of those exciting moments in a football game. There is a turnover and a fumble. And all of a sudden, the guys who were on defense, they're starting to think like offensive players, Greg. They really wanted to take that back the other way. And I think for that offense, they're fortunate that didn't lead to a touchdown because for a minute, I thought the defender was going to take it all the way back. But either way, winds up with a pretty nice return, and his offense is in great position. The Rams led out by a Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. Second among all active passers in the NFL, only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards. Hard to believe, Greg, it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia. Stafford was one of those guys, Mike, that I think through the first half of his career was probably the most underappreciated quarterback in the entire league. The talent was always undeniable. But what he was constantly discredited for was just the fact that he was on some really bad teams that were left to play really irrelevant football down the stretch. Immediately changed that narrative the second he joined a championship roster. Now, he's just trying to see if he can add some more hardware to that resume and solidify that legacy even further. Shotgun snap to Stafford. The Nets will cup on the slant. Here's a second and 12. Working out of the gun, Stafford. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. Third and long. Here's Stafford. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The we'll Seahawks offense ready now for their second drive. They'll search for the first point of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. The tight end Fant in motion. On the ground, it's Walker to start the drive. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. We'll keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker. And they'll have it across midfield. Down at the opposing 46-yard line. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. First and ten. Oh, 
on the ground with Walker. And he'll get forward to about the 42. The rookie out of Florida State, Jared Verse, on the tackle. We see this week in and week out, Mike, these running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. That's a gain of 11, and they'll move the chains with another first down. From the shotgun, it's Smith. Off balance throw, it's complete. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. The run up the middle, it's Walker. The Seahawks are going to have a first and goal. Some good running there gets them down to about the two-yard line. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six. the score and set now for the dynamic kickoff he fields it at the eight and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line the Rams offense ready for their second possession they were forced to punt the first time through it led to a touchdown so down seven nothing as they get the ball back for first and ten first and ten. They go play action with Stafford. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Cooper Cup was the intended receiver. And it'll be second down. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of spark. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Third and long. The shotgun, it's Stafford. Unloads downfield, looking for Nakua. That one is back away, incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. But I think it would be a bit of an understatement, Mike, to say. 
say that this offense has come out today a bit flat. They haven't picked up a single first down through the first two drives, and barring a really aggressive decision here, they'll have to wait till their third series to see if they can make it happen. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense back onto the field for their next possession. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and 10. The tight end Fant in motion. Play action now. It's Gino. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. Oh, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly in his third and ten. He's going to look deep here, looking for Rocket. the type of drive to write home about Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. So it's fourth down. The Seahawks send out the Aussie Michael Dixon to punt. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. The Rams offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. In motion, it's Robinson. They'll start this on the ground, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 32 after a short pickup. Second down and eight. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Cup in motion. They'll try to run for it with Williams. 14 on the pickup. First down, L.A. There's a big conversation going on right now around the NFL about what is the true value of having a run game. And I've always thought it comes down to being good at three situations. Can you run the ball in the fourth quarter with a lead? How well can you run the ball on the goal line? And then in this case, how well can you run the ball in short yardage situations? On first down, Stafford. Here's rookie sensation, Puka Nakua. That's another first down, another big play. The defense has some issues. Gain of 18. To throw is Stafford. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. 
Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? To the middle, it's cut. He's taken down just shy of the 10. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target, and I don't think it's going to be his last. And that is hot in the end zone. He's in. Cooper, hot. Touchdown, Rams. And that was just a great drive, really, from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm mix in run mix in pass results in the touchdown pass but really everything they did the entire possession worked to perfection when you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns man that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game joshua cardi comes out now for the extra point He's got it, and the Rams will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. Visca Chanel. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Seahawks offense make their way out to take over once more. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. This drive starts on the ground with Walker. And how about that back? Bull dozing his way forward. A gain of nine yards. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Harris Evans on the scoreboard. Greg and I back in the Great Northwest in a moment. Second and a yard. Straight ahead, it's Walker. He's taken down the first shy of midfield. What we're seeing here in this first half, Mike, is an example of the offensive line, the running back, and the play caller all on the same page. The execution and the ability to continue to pick up chunk plays on the ground has been a great start for this offense. Off the play play, it's Smith. That's complete to lock it out right. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Hey. 
the tight end Fant in motion. On play action, Smith. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. DK Metcalf was the intended target. And it'll be third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So Myers back out there at the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. From the six, here comes a return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. Here comes Cooper Cup and the rest of the L.A. offense set for this next Rams possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Huff brings it in left side. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Well, that falls certainly into that category, Mike, but when you fail to connect on those, it just ends up being a waste of time. Here now, third and five. Now it's Stafford. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Here's Ethan Evans now. As the drive went in the wrong direction, he's on to punt it away. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. The Seahawks offense and Kenneth Walker ready to take over once more. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half, putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. Here's first and ten. On the handoff, this is Walker. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. On 
On second down, Walker. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. In order for you to be able to operate out of this 4-3 style defense, Mike, the key is your defensive tackles, their ability to penetrate, their ability to be game wreckers. That's exactly what we saw here, his ability to get back there, make the stop at the line of scrimmage, keep it to no game. They'll go play action. It's Smith. offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting in these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. On first and ten, here comes Walker. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here's Gino. Field with this to the veteran tight end. No effect. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Working out of the gun, Smith. That's dropped off for Walker. The Seahawks are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, it's been pretty clear this offense has wanted to get this running back involved in the passing game here in the first half. And with the success they've found, I expect the rest of the game to go very similar. From the pistol, Smith. He's got his man in the middle of the end zone. Tyler Rocket. Touchdown, Seattle. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line. And they had this one worked up all week simple pitch and catch and it works to perfection now the point after trump from myers it's up and good and the seahawks will get out in front 17 to 7. To the TD. Myers comes on now to kick it away. This returnable from the four. He'll get this up to the 28 yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Rams offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as this drive starts first and 10.
drive begins with a run by Williams. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. on target to Puka and the Rams have a first down this is a great example Mike of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball I mean when you can pick up first downs without getting the third down as the game unfolds things just get easier and easier take what the defense is giving you don't force the ball downfield and when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays that's when an offense is really firing. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. A play fit. Now Stafford to throw. That finds Nakula along the sideline. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Caught by Nakua on the out route. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yards, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. We'll come up now for second down and four. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. But you got to make that catch. Give your pressure. Gets there. And down he goes. Taking that loss on the sack, it changes your entire approach offensively. You go from playing for six to now everything is just about coming away with points. Joshua Cardi to try this field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Cardi's kick is good. And the Rams are back within a score. It's now 17-10. to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now Walker. 
He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no gain. He'll try again here, second and 10. Here's a handoff to Walker. And he's going to be very close to a first down. That's a good run there. Maybe just a couple of feet short. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. They'll try and run it with Walker. That's going to be pretty close. Looks like he's got it, and he does. First down. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Here's Walker. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. And he'll be marked down at the 45 yard line. Anytime you have a running back like this, it's more about just how many ways can you get the ball in his hand. He's had a great game today so far on the ground. Now they're starting to find ways to get him the ball through the air. And that is a handful for any defense. A first down throw for Smith. He'll try to set up the screen here with Walker. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. Throwing on second down, Smith. Complete to the forward Buckeye, Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Smith. That's caught. It's A.J. Barner, the tight end. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. Nice catch there by Barner, the young rookie, and he's really known more, Mike, as a physical run blocker than maybe a real productive receiving tight end. His last year in college, had less than 250 yards receiving, but he can bring that physical nature to this Seahawks new look offense, and I think he's good enough in the passing game that he gives Geno Smith another option to go with that. Timeout Seahawks, that is their second, as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. This has been a really good drive so far, but what I really like, Mike, is they're down here in the red zone, and they continue to attack. Now, not quite a touchdown, but with first and goal, this defense certainly has their back against the ropes. This has been some kind of march downfield now, and they pay it off with six. It's first and goal. He puts it up, and it's caught! D.K. Metcalf! Touchdown, Seahawks! And this is where the threat of run just opens up everything else in your offense, especially when you have a premier back lined up behind center. And this is one of those cases where the defense is so worried about how do we stop this ground game. You don't have enough guys to account for everyone in the passing game and results in an easy touchdown.
Myers now to add the PAT. He's got it. And the Seahawks move out to a 24 to 10 lead. much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half and the kickoff's coming their way here's Smith to return it he's across the 20 taken down just shy of the 25 the Rams offense going to take over just before the half they trail by two touchdowns so the time is now gotta get that rally going it starts with first and ten Stafford looking middle there, but it's incomplete. Byron Williams, the intended receiver there, and that will lead to a second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play... It's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. Now the Rams going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in the opening half. They'll come up to third and three. the shotgun, it's Stafford. He's got a man! That's Nakua, complete! Now a timeout Rams, that's number two, as that'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. A fresh set of downs to work with, it is first down and ten. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throwing left side there, but it is incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. they got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws, and when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. To throw on second down, Stafford. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Again, it's Stafford. He'll take a shot here, back of the end zone. And penalty flags come in as it winds up incomplete, but no doubt there was contact there. The crowd does not agree with that call. Booze ring out. Doesn't matter, not going to change it. It's a first down. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. So we've reached halftime here in this 11-point game. As we'll send you over to Orlando, our EA Sports Halftime Report, with the coach, Jonathan All Yours. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports.
both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. The motion man is Nakua. Play action, Stafford. This one. Oh, he doesn't pull it away, and the ball's out. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball, more bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, you've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often, and when they do, you got to seize the moment. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. First down, right back to Williams. And he'll get about five. to the 23. Here's third down. Cup in motion. Cup on third down. Stafford. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Another one. 
through the uprights. He's four for four on the game. And the Rams are able to get it back within a score. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, you'll take those three points. Hardy back out, following the Mayfield goal. He'll kick this one away. On the return, it's Chennault. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense, Geno Smith, getting ready for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. They'll come up here first and ten. A handoff running left is Walker. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. They'll come up on a second down and eight. play action now. It's Gino. Out right Smith and Jigba has it. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. From the gun, it's Gino. seen this quarterback operate very efficiently not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers Mike but really complete a high percentage of his passes so can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far and he's going to be brought down after a short return and that's where his team will get possession of the football Kyron Williams and the Rams offense ready to get back to work. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Cup in motion. It's Stafford. That's caught downfield by Robinson. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. That pickup, good for 29 yards. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. Throw right side, hold in by Cup. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Here's second and two. They'll 
go again with Williams. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. man is Nakua. A give left side. Here's Williams. And they finally get him down. Good gain on the ground, but hold everything. Maybe a reason he got so free. Touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns, and then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this, and his receiver is able to take it in for six. Stafford brings the Rams to the line. They'll try to get two. This is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. And he will get into the end zone. The two-point conversion ties this game up. I love a quarterback draw. It has to be timed and run at the right moment. You can't get reckless with it. But, man, they're thinking pass. You've got them all spread out. The patience to sell the pass, allow everybody to get deep into their drops. And the quarterback just simply takes it up the middle for an easy two points. offense and their running back getting set for this next possession and you look at his numbers as a pass catcher in this one they've lined him up in different spots shifted him around and they've made him a real weapon in the passing game first and ten ground it's Walker to start the drive and a nice run there he'll be stopped just shy of a first down a pickup of not this is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game changer the offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long you give this guy a little bit of a crease and man he is gone once again it's Walker and will bring this up to the 48-yard line. 
and that's a first down. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. Off the play fake, it's Smith. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. Uh, shotgun run now with Walker. Running with authority. Pushes his way forward for a pickup of six. They'll work now on second and four. They'll keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it still stopped for no gain. From the shotgun, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Seahawks will move out in front. 27-24. Job number one on this drive, find a way to get the lead. They, of course, would have loved to score a touchdown, Mike. But three points here, that's a pretty good consolation prize as it moves him out in front. So Myers back out there at the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. A return now from the four. And it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive. The visitors offense and Cooper Cup heading back onto the field will try to establish some tempo to start this one with first and ten. of a couple this is what every defense in the league is shooting for Mike negative plays that's how you kill drives force teams to play from behind the sticks great job here taking them down for a loss last play went the wrong way it sets up second along it's second down and 12 on the give it's Williams he'll get about two linebacker Ernest Jones ends that play It is third and ten. So no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. is third down. Now it's Stafford. And that is incomplete. 
And what's clearly become a passing league, Mike, if you're not actively rushing the passer, you have to be able to hold up in coverage, and that's especially true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. To return is Williams. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Seahawks offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and ten. This drive starts on the ground with Walker. To take this forward, maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backwards. They go play action with Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. Second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Smith. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Big time opportune sack there by the defense. Mike, they're right on the cusp of field goal range. You can't allow this to become a two possession ball game here in the fourth quarter. Massive third down coming up here. See if they can get off the field and get the ball back to their offense. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Smith to throw. No time to set up the screen here with Walker. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. Here comes Smith on the return. And he'll get a few yards on this return. Up past the 15-yard line. Here come the Rams as their offense trots back onto the field. They'll begin with first and ten. swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. On the shotgun, it's Stafford. They connect again. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. A big play looming here. They need to convert. It is third and inches. They'll stick to the ground. 
This is going to be a Rams first down. He'll take it up to about the 33-yard line. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. So it'll be first and ten. They'll scrimmage at the 33. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's second and six. Working out of the gun, Stafford. He'll check this down to the running back. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump. And he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. A shotgun snap to Stafford. And this ball incomplete on third down. Nearly gave the ball back to his offense with a short field to work with. And I'll tell you what, if I'm this defensive coordinator, I'm going to have all my guys on the judge machine this week after practice because when the quarterback gives you a gift like that, You've got to come away with that pick. Boom. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Seahawks offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. take this forward for about three. It's second down. The tight end Fant in motion. On second down, Walker. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? Nice job there defensively to keep him in front of the marker. It's going to bring up fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. This one fielded out beyond the 25. Rams offense headed back to take over once more. They'll start out first down and ten. from here's second and inches cup in motion they'll run and 
he will have the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chain. sets up second and five you only get a one yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen that time he strayed a little too far and it draws the flag Stafford here's a screen set up to Williams Second and ten. They'll run here. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. try to cut into this fourth quarter deficit at this point in the game Mike remember you're just going to get a couple more possessions so you have to make the most of them especially with the lead being this close for the taking here's first and ten here's a handoff to Williams a modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Second and goal. Stafford. He's got it at the three. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. This crowd doing everything they can before third and goal. They'll drop the throw. Cooper, huh, touchdown, L.A. That 
is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. The extra point from Hardy is good. And the Rams have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, it's Chanel. And he'll work this one past the 25 to at about the 28-yard line. Out comes the Seattle offense as they get ready for their next possession. The trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Gino to throw. He'll try to set up the screen here. As the saying goes, Mike, you need your big-time players to make big-time plays, and the moment doesn't get bigger than this. Find yourself down. A touchdown gives you a chance to win this thing in regulation, and I think they got a shot. Now second and inches. From the gun, it's Gino. Plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Smith. Checking it down, this one is caught. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down, eight for the first down. From the shotgun, Smith. He's got it at the seven. He is in. DK Metcalf. Touchdown, Seattle. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often these quarterbacks throw their guy open they anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be that's exactly the reason this play worked out here mike and he's able to connect here for a big touchdown now this an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal an important extra point up and good so the lead is three here in the late stages of the game So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Smith to return it. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense getting set to go again. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally 
one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's first down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Huff brings it in left side. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And this ball batted away and incomplete. So this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think you'd be able to throw out. You can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. The game is there for the taking. They control their own destiny, but this brings up a really big third down here. But remember, they don't have to force it and push the ball past the sticks. Even if they come up short, they still have fourth down in their back pocket to try to extend this drive and see if they can pull out the win here late. That one on target to Williams. He's got it. Now a timeout Rams, that's number two. It's the clock to stop with 21 seconds to go in the game. This offense still has the one timeout to use. First and 10 coming up now. Stafford to throw again. Through the contact, it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He may have trusted his arm strength a little bit too much on that throw. Two defenders in the area. Work to your check down. Work to an open receiver. I think in this case, he forces that ball. And ultimately, he's lucky he got away from it. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. So a pressure spot for the kicker, Joshua Cardi. This to potentially send us to overtime. So here we go. Big spot for the rookie. This one, he's got to have. This one is on target, and it is good. And we are almost certainly bound for overtime. And that's just a big-time kick right there. I mean, think about all the things running through this kicker's head. He knows if he misses it, this game's over. But he's cool. He's calm. He steps up takes a deep breath, and he knocks it through to extend this game. Final seconds here, overtime looming on the horizon as they kick it off. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback.
They'll come up for first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Smith. the huddle coming up now for first and ten to throw it's Smith that's deep for the back of the end zone and that's going to be incomplete they took one last chance here in regulation it does not pan out and we are headed to overtime Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. Here comes a return from the Fox. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Rams offense ready to get back at it. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. drive that's a gain of 30 and another first down and it's the arm talent mike it's on full display his ability to step up in the pocket get everything behind that ball and throw a laser downfield that's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the nfl are capable of making and i think it was pretty good defense just turned out to be a better throw on first and ten stafford Throw right side, hole in by Cuff. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag back in the backfield. Is it a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. The shotgun snap to Stafford. here on second down and five. Here's Stafford. There's that man again. Another catch. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big the motion man is Nakua. They'll try to run it with Williams. From the one yard line, first down and goal. They'll run, it's Williams. This time, he will work his way into the end zone. Kyron Williams. 
Rams. Touchdown, Rams. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. So, thanks to that recent rule change, still the chance to extend this game and match that opening overtime score as they receive the kickoff here. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Seahawks offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now a first throw here in overtime. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. A second down throw for Smith. He'll tuck it and take off. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, but he decides to turn into a runner, picks up a great game, and ultimately a first down. Right, Smith and Jigba has it. He's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Now, Gino. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Third down and nine. Here's Gino. He's going to look deep here, looking for Rocket. so often Mike you can see these offenses and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable and as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws but to put the ball in harm's way on fourth down here's Smith got it with Smith and Jigba and he will have the Seahawks first down the defense nowhere to be found a fourth down gain of 20. To throw, Smith. That's complete to lock it outright. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. From the gun, it's Gina. Over the middle, Metcalf has it. Ball 
ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. Working out of the gun, Smith. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Jackson Smith and Jigba, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second and goal. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do. And, man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. From the shotgun, Smith. two-point conversion and it really just comes down to the protection you're sitting there third and goal you have to give your quarterback the opportunity Mike to work through all of his progressions and you need time to do it then it just comes down to making the right read touchdown They could have tried for the win. Instead, they'll go for one to extend the game. And an exhale there. Extra point is good. Now, next score wins as we play on here in overtime. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. This will be returned from the six. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Rams offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. short throw and a really nice run after catch and listen for a quarterback it all counts the same you don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays and these drag routes can be very very effective and he's going to be stopped in his tracks there was a couple of yards on that one anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Now it's a bootleg with Stafford. This one is caught by Robinson. On the ground, this is Williams. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Well short of the first down. 
They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? Rams punting unit coming out. And he's on for a big one here in overtime. Uh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Seahawks offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll do so with first and ten. play fake. It's Smith. Yeah. And the sideline. He can't find that count. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. On the handoff, this is Walker. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? Second down, Smith. Smith and Jim, the left side, he's got it. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Here's a second and nine. Play action now. It's Gino. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. He's across midfield. That screen goes for 12, and that's a first down. The relationship between the back and the offensive lineman is now the key for the run after catch. You want to make sure those linemen don't get too far down the field where they can't help protect the back. So once the running back catches it, there's a go-go call. Now everyone knows it's time to go downfield. The running back falls in behind them, and that's the landmark of the screenplay. On first down, here's Gino to throw. They'll try to set up the screen here with Walker. And they'll take this down inside the 35. How often do we see, Mike, the running back, they get a little too antsy, and they go a little too fast on these screenplays. In this case, great job by the back. First, he let his offensive lineman go out. He then follows behind. That's the key to a good screen play. Smith to Smith and Jigba. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Man, what a big-time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. 
He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. Here's a handoff to Walker. He's going nowhere. That call, not the right one. It's going to bring up fourth down. Sometimes there's just nowhere to go, right? We asked these running backs, Mike, to do a lot of work, find space, create something out of nothing. Well, this time, he was able to create nothing out of nothing. So the pressure's on. Here's the veteran, Jason Myers. This one to win it in overtime. So, it's a win here for the Seahawks. They knew a field goal would do it and a pressure kick from distance is right on the money. They come away with the victory here in overtime. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson, for our entire team. To read this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks. As we say, so long from Seattle. Thank <laughs> you.